Hello, in this video I show you the white paint tools for Blender. It is a design that will help you uh, quickly fix uh, skinning problems in the characters. So, in here I have character without groups, vertex groups. I will parent this to uh, armature with automatic weights. Now when I go to skin the pose mode, you see that the mesh is deforming and there are like a few problems. One is that the jawbone is moving the upper teeth and another bigger problem is that the eyelids are moving too much of the head. So let's go into weight paint mode and uh, one of the advantage of using this add-on is that you can quickly select uh, pose bones when in vertex mask mode. So by default you, if you have this vertex masking enabled you wouldn't be able to select. You wouldn't be able to select the um, the armature bone. You would have to disable this. Click on bone. Enable this again. This is a bit time-consuming, so I simplified this to Alt uh, to Control right click. Also, I made it so that you can like loop select and grow things selection without need to go to edit mode. So it works with Alt right click for loop select or Alt shift right click to extend the loop selection, Control plus or minus to grow string selection, and Control L to select linked. Also, I fixed the B hotkey for box select because it's, it's kind of doesn't work that good in, by default in Blender. So yeah, that's it. Uh, now let's go to the uh, operators that I created for simplifying the workflow. So let's say we want to fix the teeth first. So we uh, select Control L and select vertices with the teeth and then select the bone of the head. And I want this upper teeth to assign to head bone. I can do this by pressing Control X and in here we have set weights operator. I just click one and now those, uh, the stiff is assigned with 100% to the head bone. Uh, advantage of this over the built-in set weights is that firstly uh, the weights on the are automatically normalized. So maybe to show this better, uh, let's say on the arm I set weights to uh, using built-in tool to one. You see that the weights are not normalized and they sum up to above one value. But with the uh, with this add-on, it is automatically normalizing the other weights. So this weight is 100%, and the other weights are reduced to zero. Also, uh, another advantage is that uh, let's say. Uh, I will deform slightly the mesh to break the symmetry, something like this. I don't want to do this too much because if I offset them off center too much, it won't work. But something like this is okay. And now let's say I will use the built in tool for filling weights with symmetry enabled. And uh, okay, this works on the left, okay, but the normalizing is broken. But also on the other side, we see that those weights weren't uh, properly assigned with 100% because it found symmetry only on those two vertices and it didn't found symmetry for all the other loops. So with uh, this album, obviously it works way better because when I set this to 100 and here it is, it found all the symmetrical vertices even though they were not like 100% uh, on the symmetry line. Uh, so I will show now more options. So one of them is that when you set any weight, like let's say 50%, you can use middle mouse button to increase or decrease uh, the weight. And with shift middle mouse button, if you roll up, it will decrease in 0.05 value or decrease in 0.05 value. Uh, there is also mixing method. You can change this to add. So now the weights will be added instead of replacing and subtract. Uh, it's similar. It will subtract weights. Also, if you want, you can disable the normalization with N key 
or disable the locking active. Uh, so lock active what it does is that uh, let's say let's say I will for example select those two loops and fill this with 50% weight and uh, I will change mode to replace and disable lock active and now when I disable lock active you see that normalizing will work that it will normalize both of those vertices groups to sum up to one but without locking the current group to 0 0.5 so with locking active it would make it so that arm stretch would be 0 0.5 for all the vertices and then other weights will be would be reduced so that the sum would be 100 percent so yeah this kind of sometimes it is useful to have this option look active okay so more option is in here are that you can uh, for example pick weight of active vertices so let's say we want to pick those this exact weight uh, so instead of like copying from here you can quickly just pick this value and then uh, select uh, target uh, vertices and then using this fill button you will fill uh, i will enable log active and then this then this value of weight will be filled exactly and will exactly match the source weight uh, so yeah that covers the uh, setting weights uh, now I will show you what the mix way, mix vertex ways does. So in this example, I want to transfer all the weights from eyelid to the head bone because uh, this is how it's supposed to be. The eyelid bones will only influence small area of the eyelid. So to do this, to transfer weights from eyelid to the head bone, I just uh, control uh, right click on the source bone then control shift right click on target bone I select with control L all the vertices I want to be affected and then I just press mix weights and that's it now the weights from the eyelid are transferred to the head under the F6 uh, this works also with symmetry so automatically left and right eyelids were both added to the target head bone uh, we can also enable disable clear source weights with that enabled the because it was enabled now the eyelids are set to zero because all the weights were transferred to the head and we cleared the eyelids but if I undo and run this again but this time with clear source weights disabled now you will see that we still have those weights assigned to the source board uh, another options in here are basically mode of mixing so instead of like adding weights you can select the replace or uh, difference or multiply usually you would in 90% of cases you would want to add weights from one bone to another and usually you want to clear the source weights okay so that's it then there is option to symmetrize the text group uh, let's select maybe something in here and I will select vertices in here and press symmetrize and now this vertex group is uh, symmetrical uh, there is also this uh, delta parameter it will help you find symmetrical vertices even they, if they are not perfectly like aligned so when I reduce this you see that the vertices on the arm are not uh, symmetrized but when increasing this delta this is like margin error for finding symmetrical vertices, if I increase this, those words are properly symmetrized. And uh, plus to minus, uh, maybe I will show this better, like something like this, let's say, and then run the symmetrize again. And we, when we change the direction with this checkbox, it will use another side of the mesh as source for symmetrization. Okay, so uh, that's covered this part. Maybe I will show you now. Uh, maybe the next option will be mirror vertex group uh, to show this better I want to break the symmetry of the vertex group because now right, right and left is the same so I will disable maybe the mirror for a second and paint, paint some weight in here control L to select link ok now we have different left and light right group if I want them to be symmetrical 
I just press uh, mirror, vertex group, and now left uh, left arm has the same weight as the right arm. Uh, sometimes uh, there is also options under the F6. The delta is the same as in the symmetries. It's basically an error for finding the symmetrical vertices. And flip names, it may be sometimes useful if you want to flip the weights, but without s s changing the vertex group name. But so uh, now you see that the vertex vertices were mirrored. Uh, the weights are moved to the left, but they are still assigned to the right bone. So yes, this sometimes may be useful. Okay, so now the next option is copy vertex weights. Uh, then instead of picking, where picking just uh, chooses the selected uh, vertex group, the copy word weights will copy all the weights from here. So now when I will, let's say, paste this to those five words with paste vertex weights, you see that all of them have the uh, same weights uh, assigned. Also one uh, nice trick is that if you select few few of the vertices and copy them, you can then uh, select uh, a few more vertices and paste on them and those pasted weights will be exactly the same as the target weights. So yeah, this way you can like select uh, and copy multiple weights at once. And if you like paste, select this uh, four vertices uh, like so, you can paste them all at once and it will properly like uh, loop and cycle over those four words and this is. Uh, okay, so then there is select active that is bone. So basically if you select, uh, you have let's say in here a few bones and you want to select uh, the spine free so you selected the spine free bone but the vertex group is active but the bone is not active and you want to activate this bone but you are not sure which one it is then you you can use the select active vertex group bone and now the the bone corresponding to the active vertex group will be selected uh, okay then there is also some more options in the weight tools those tools are actually quite similar to what we have on the left panel uh, except they work better so they have like, like automatic normalization and they work better with symmetry compared to the built-in tools so let's say we have in here the twist bone and we want uh, when i move the hand uh, the twisting is a bit abrupt uh, it doesn't uh, like get a nice smooth transition so i can fix this by selecting let's say those two control plus to gross selection maybe one more time and now i can use control x weight tools and smooth weights and then using medium mouse button i can increase the repetition and then smooth weights are uh, the smoothing is happening, uh, the smoothing is stronger. Also, with shift and middle mouse button, when I roll up, the weights are being uh, like stronger, and if I roll mouse button down, the weights are uh, uh, getting less strong and they are weaker. There is also automatic normalization happening, you can disable with N key, and there is also group and source. So uh, sometimes you, if you want to smooth not just active group, but all the groups that are assigned to vertices, you can change group from like maybe from selected bone to all the groups. And this way all the groups will be smoothed on those selected vertices. Uh, so yeah, now if I move to a corresponding uh, left bone, you see that the smoothing was happened, happened also in here. You can see that the transition is now looking better and smoother and that the weights are properly normalized. Okay, so that's about smoothing. Let's maybe go with... Maybe I will show you this uh, vertex normalization... Uh, vertex... Um, what it was called? It was levels. Yeah, so maybe I was too fast. Uh, level weights. With this, you can offset with middle mouse button 
to make it smaller and you can change gain with shift mouse uh, shift and middle mouse button when I roll press shift and middle mouse you can increase the gain and then without shift you can decrease the weight to have something uh, like this is kind of similar to the limit uh, to the built-in uh, to the built-in levels except it works better with the because it is automatically normalizing the result and have better uh, like symmetry support so let's change this gradient so it is not, not affecting too much of the top of the lid uh, uh, upper lip so i will scroll down to decrease the weight and then maybe use shift and middle mouse button to have stronger contrast then i will again scroll down to decrease the weights on the top and yeah that's it with those settings like offset minus 0 0.3 and gain 1.6 now though jabon is not affecting too much of the upper lip and if i want i can now also use smoothing so wait to smooth and smooth this slightly uh, something like this uh, is looking okay and the other options in here are similar to the option found on the left except uh, they are a bit like faster to reach and uh, but there are uh, basically the same as those options on the left uh, so yes, this alone will make your life easier, especially if you are doing uh, skinning of the characters. And I hope you will find this uh, useful. See ya.